we are ready to take off and introduce a new fabric line from Quilting a Day. Yay! Yay. And I, I started using all of mine and Teresa can't get me a new one. Oh, so it's, it's very unique. It's called Begins with Mom. And I thought Mom was my mother. Mom is M-U-M. -M. The flower, right? The flower, ooh, and Patty should come and you should just go ooh and ah. Uh. It's very unique. And do those look like mums? We have them in pink. We have them in purple. We have them in green. And I cut up blue. And the three of us have both been working with this new line and today we really want to share it with you. I'm going to start with an AccuQuilt one, and then Patty has a quilt to share, and Teresa, how's that? Yes. So maybe you remember this one. I did it in um, 2017, and it's called Roundabout Stars Quilt. Roundabout Stars Quilt, how many of you did it? I knew Sally would do it anyhow. So all of you can try out this new quilt for you. Here is one that we did, um, I'm not sure exactly when. The cover, it's the cover that's on the wall. But um, Teresa gave me this stack and this is the quilt that I did. I just, I just love it and I would expect a lot of noise from you. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. Woo! See, is that pretty? It's the unveiling. Isn't it pretty? Beautiful. It's very, very different. Very, very different. But thank you, thank you. I, I was really happy. But um, basically, what I wanted to do was use as many of these fabrics from the um, from the Line. quarter, yeah, with the quarter yard pieces, and I did it. And so I just show you. I wanted to start out with the darkest in the points. Okay, mm -hmm. so I used all the darks, the the colors that I told you, and then I took the medium and put the medium from this stack inside all of the centers. This is the light and the big figures, mainly all of the moms around it. And then there's an even lighter one. I didn't know what to do with that one. <laughs> so I didn't actually use it. But basically, it is the um, stars and the four patch watch. There's two blocks. It's the star, and this one has half square triangles in it. And to make this row down, every pink has a half square triangle in it. Well, then there's a second one, the star and a four patch, four patch. You see the four patch in the quarters? And this green has all of the four patch the whole way down. And then it, it just keeps on alternating. So half square triangle, four patch, half square triangle, four patch. And the reason is, da 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 da, so they all lock together. And you get circles too. Yes, and you get circles. Okay, so I was having such a great time making the stars really going good. And then I held it up. I sewed it all together and held it up and looked at it. And I said, oh, look, there's circles. Yeah. Yeah. You see circles. Oh. And then I said, oh, <laughs> I forgot to add the outside rows so I had more circles. <laughs> 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 
Read the pattern. <laughs> Look at the pictures. And now Teresa said. <laughs> Teresa said, yeah, I showed her I'm so proud of it. And she goes, well, how come you didn't put the outside row in? <laughs> but, we'll show, but we'll show you. But, but I just thought it would be really fun to put all half square triangles all around the outside edge. You don't have to do it like that. You can do it like that. Yeah, I don't have to do it like a book says. I can make my own thing up. And we do have a, we do have a photograph to share with you to give to let you take home. But basically, I'm going to show you all of the units that go into this. It's all very easy. There, look at roundabout stars. Is that nice? When I demo for you today, I'm just using all my scraps. Because I. it's so easy to just take a quarter yard, a back quarter, and just cut it up. <laughs> OK, so. We have this one that I just made, and now we can put it on the design wall. But how about you have two more, right? So show this one. Okay. It's yes, and this is Patty's. Oh, this is Teresa's. Okay. So now let me see. Do you see more circles? Teresa read the pattern. <laughs> Do you see? Can you see this way? Yes, that's what the pattern shows you. You have to see there are moms quilted in the border. Look at that. It's just beautiful. This is Amy Potter's work. Yes, Amy Potter. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, and this is Patty's. Yeah, and tip back. So, so um, I limited the colors of my, my stars. I did just two alternating stars. Because I get too confused it when it's too scrappy. So I have to keep, <laughs> I get, I have to keep it simple. Yes, I love that. It is very nice. Yeah, be sure and take your pictures. Oh, yeah, I went to the tropics. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. I what did you do? Don't she, whisper, tell me. She told me it looked tropical. Uh, I said, oh, yes, I went to the tropics <laughs> and did it. <laughs> okay, so that's all of them that we have to show? Okay, no, that's just the beginning. Uh, this particular one, that's all we have to show. But I just want to, um, for those of you that um, might be new to the AccuQuilt, actually we have so many different sizes of uh, blocks that you can make. This is the um, original mix and match 8 inch uh -huh. block and inside it, it has eight different dies that you can get, which I have them all open over here that I'm going to use and be showing you. So the mix and match eight inch block, and then once you get the mix and match eight inch block, then you got to go on, oh my gosh, I need the companion set. And this particular one is for angles, of which I also used in the quilt that, I, um, that we just showed you. OK, is that good? So instead of opening up, this might be the last one left in inventory. I should raffle it off. Don't you think? That would be really, really good. So I love to use the Go Big, and I it's really, it's good for me to remember that I started with AccuQuilt in 2014 because honestly, it's really saved my hands. I meet so many people, quilters now that they're wearing braces on their hands. And I, I've been through therapy and I told him about this, you know, and he's pretty excited, but I really feel like it saved my hands you know, and all that time, all the quilting that I do. It's pretty amazing. So anyhow, 
this is a go big, but you can also just use the little go or the, the second. There's three orders, mm -hmm. and this is the top one. It's the most expensive. It's worth it. it <laughs> it's worth it. Just think about your um, health. Okay, and I'm going to take my book. Let's see. Okay, and just go through all of this. Okay, Teresa, you said you would have the two and a half inch die cutter, oh, and I, okay. I don't see it yet. Okay, one of the patches, the first patch that you all saw was the four patch. Patty, you could be Vanna and stand here and point to the four there patch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you could, <laughs> okay, yes, good girl, good girl. And what was the value that I used? The medium. The medium. No. There's a medium. Yeah, that's right. It's a light. It's a light. It's a light medium. And I have to tell you, making four patch with the two and a half inch strip cutter is probably one of my favorite things to do. I absolutely love them. And look at this. I, I'm going to show you how I do this. This is terrible what I do. I don't even want to <laughs> admit to it. But, you know, this is the um, back quarter, right? And look at this. What if you took a light back quarter? You need to have two colors in it, right? Light and a um, background. Well, what if you took these two pieces and the background is right sides out and just fold it right sides together? Ooh, what do you think about that? Yeah, and look at this. There are three strips across and so you have to watch the salvage edge. You, a lot of times I just go ahead and cut it. But when I put it on the die, I'm going to line up my edges. This is the blade. And I just, I'm stingy. I only give it like a quarter of an inch on the edge past that blade. And it would have been a really good idea if I pressed this. But. Yeah, it would be better. Then we won't ruin anything. See, isn't this nice? I have two assistants here. Just hand it over. Yeah, so there's the blades in here if you haven't seen. How many of you have not even seen like a die like this? No, everybody. Huh? You all own it? This, they say, this is the best selling die that they have, the two and a half inch uh -huh. strip cutter. And personally, there are so many different sizes of strip cutters. If you have them, it's so great just to cut their big strips. And I'll show you what, what we're going to do first. Okay, so I don't want to cover everything up here. Okay, okay, you did good. Okay. So now, what we're making is four patch. One quarter inch over, and okay, line it up. You, there's lines. We actually put these lines are our drawing. That's because the blade ends right there. And so we don't want to uh, take our fabric past the blade. And on the opposite side, okay, okay, okay. That's good mat and watch these mats in the weather i my sewing room is really cold yeah and then they they start to crack and they they're frozen it's like they're and they crack okay so at this point you're just supposed to stand strip <laughs> do any dance do your exercises kick your feet march in place whatever just do whatever you want. All right. So then, okay, a little friction. Make lots of noise. 
Okay, and then I really try to just get hold of a corner, lift it up, slide it off. I do not like mine. Oh, messy. Ta-da! Oh, no, we forgot to bring a scissor. Okay, there was one little piece that, that, that it did not go through. And let me tell you, if this happens to you, I find out if you just put um, the mat and then a piece, couple of pieces of paper on top. I mean, I'm, I wish that I would have checked this first. And I don't like this, that I would have had a paper, papers on top that gives more pressure. And so you don't have those little things. Doo -doo! Now that's good? All right, good. So now all we have to do is take the light and the medium right size together. And I don't know if you want to sew, Teresa, but I actually, you could actually show them how fast you can sew. They're quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. This is for all. I love making four patch. I could just go on and on and make four patch forever. But let me show you. <laughs> I, I have a whole bunch of them that I'm all ready to do. But this is what it looks like when you're done. Press the seams always to the dark. This is actually 11 inch strips. I put two of them right sides together. Listen to her, she's gonna be done before I am. Okay, so now you take your die and you make sure that they are locked together. Oh, you already had this? Yes. <laughs> I know, you're, you're cracking. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, make sure that you lock the seams. That means they're all going in opposite directions. Okay, so I'm just going to put it one lined up here. And then take a second one. I mean... Look at, you've got this whole big old um, die right here. So, oops, so put it right on here. Okay. <laughs> Teresa, you yeah. did it? Okay, so now she's going to put it on her iron, right sides to get your color. Uh, press towards the dark, yep. Okay, so now look at this. It fits, but. See here, oh my gosh, I'm so stingy. Look, I'm just gonna take this and fold this guy. You can do up to six layers. It's very tight, but um, I only have four here. Take this, go like this. All right, pat it, get your mat. Are you ready for four patch? Da, 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 da. But think about how many you can make all at once. Yes. Okay. Tip on the corner, slide them off. Look at that. It's beautiful. Yep. Okay. So now it's already ready. I like to have the uh, strip that goes up first because it's gonna shift it down into the underneath one. Yep. Okay, and I have two of them here. Okay, all right. She's a, she's a whiz. Okay, so, yeah, I know. You can't have her. You can't have her. Teresa's been with me a really long time. Teresa, Merritt, and Eric. Yeah, all the other people don't know, but they're running the company. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to, oh, I see. So let's just cut that one off. Cut it off, yes. Yeah, so she, she's, and it's okay. If you don't have to keep on doing it. So this is the big deal, okay. How about we'll check and see if it's, it works? Whoop. Yep, it, oh, it's good. Okay, this is the deal. 
I like to swirl this little seam right here. You put your thumb right there and you take out these three stitches. You turn it over. You put your thumb right there and you take out your three stitches. So actually, I'll show you too. Um, so then you just take hold of it and you open it. And now you push the top to the right, the bottom to the left, and look at that. Ooh! And you go, woo, like that, really hard. Can Eric see it? Okay, I hope Eric's right on it. And you guys, yes. perfect. I did, I did okay, order. now, did you sew one of them? Form oh. one other one, let yeah. me. Okay, so I will show you, if we're lucky, take it out. A lot of times, you just have to take your two pieces and be a little forceful. And let's see. Whoop. Like that. So you don't even need to unsew those stitches. That's good? All right. So this is the first part. And look at all of the four patch we got. Just keep on going, huh? I'll save them for you. Okay, okay, you saved them for me. That's good. Okay, so I'm just going to turn the page. The second one that we have to do is the half triangle square. Patty, it's your turn. Okay, the half square triangles. So you know that the half square triangle is always made of a dark and a light. Dark and a light. So there it is that we need. And so these are my scraps. Teresa, she just gave me so much fabric. And this is what I had left from my back quarters. But I quickly cut two pieces the same size. I always measure. This is my die. It is from um, the first one, the mix and match. It is number three, number three, half square triangle. This is what it looks like. I just add a quarter of an inch to the outside edge and cut. I have two pieces right here, a light and one of the, um, uh, the background and a light. I place them right sides together and I like to press before I put them on. And when I place them, just line them up. There's certainly extras there, and that's one of them. And actually, you just take a mat and you can cut them through. Okay? Okay, but let's, let's be fancy. Okay, let's go to the next one. That's half square triangles and turn the page. And now we are going to do the sides of the um, triangles, half square triangles. Okay, Patty, point to the sides. <laughs> oh, these? Both. Yeah, go to, the, go to the star. Yes. Now touch the darks. Okay, those are called sides. Oh. <laughs> oh. Are they points? Are they points? There. Does that look like the sides? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And to do how many of these are in one star? Eight. 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 So you actually need to have how many layers of fabric? Four. You guys are good. <laughs> see that math? OK, so I found. Look at my scrap. Is that good? Mm -hmm. I'm so lucky. If I, if I fold it a little bit, I wonder if I, I will still get enough. Let me see. Oop, oop. Yeah. This guy's going to be a little, well, we'll just pretend. But I'm doing really good here. I'm looking underneath. I'm looking on top. Can I use my scraps? Oh, I think I can. All that I'm doing is showing you, you can take 
a second die and put them side by side. This is from the angle. This is number 14. This is the triangle in a square sides. Okay, number 14. Okay, so you go do 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 Is that good? All right. Now sniff it. Okay, these are four little ones. And you have to realize that probably I've been using this one since 2014. Whew, that looks pretty good, right? Nice? Okay. Ooh, look at that. Okay, Teresa, you have to, <laughs> you have to, have, you get to sew again. Okay, so now, look at that. All ready to go. Okay, this is my pointer. Okay, the half square triangles. We have the two pieces right sides together. And I really want to show you how you have to match these up. I am just peeling off a pair. It's light and dark. You have to use a quarter of an inch seam. You have to. And your quarter of an inch seam starts right there. And whenever you stitch along here, this has to be the perfect quarter. And again, when you come out, your stitching have to come right off that tip. And if you can do it over and over again, oh, she's, ooh, she's a good one. Look at this. And Patty even gets to help. See, that helps. That arrow is helping oh, me. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have um, this fabric guide, the Sew Straighten Fabric Guide. And the thing is, you have to use your quarter of an inch foot. Your needle has to be lining right up with this arrow, right into there. And it's kind of tricky to to make sure that you start right up here. And I find out that I get it underneath my presser foot and raise it and shove it up to the needle. And that seems to go better for me. With okay. stiletto? Yeah, yeah. And so if she goes just a little bit more, we're gonna give it to Patty. My other assistant. <laughs> Keep them going. Okay, so you got a whole stack of them. And what happened to my scissors? Ah, we are nearly done. Okay, now Patty is going to set with the darkest fabric on the top. Yep, and just open and lift. You're good. And it's, I don't know, I just love to make half square triangles, any size. They're just so much fun, you can just keep on assembly line sewing them. Okay, so now we have two parts of the star, right? Okay, put that back up there. We've got our sides. Our sides are here, oh. And the, the last one is gonna be so much fun. The triangle. Oh, no, we have two more. We have two more. This one is really easy, so we'll just do it together. Okay, you can have this one. This is, take a guess, the square. It's number one in the eight-inch box. The square is in the middle. Easy, huh? Mm -hmm. Easy. So... Look at this piece. I'm getting, look at my scrap. I got so much. Look at that. <laughs> but I only need one for each star. So I don't think I can fold it enough to get. I'm not going to take a chance. I'm just going to put one, cover up one of them. I still use um, 
I think about the grain on the die. I think about the grain on the fabric so that I line it up. Okay, this is one. We're gonna get hard again. And we're just gonna kind of let these ends hang on the side. Oh, I have to push it through because the last one is the triangle. The triangle goes with the sides, okay? The triangle goes with the sides. Okay, let me just get this one through. You could stack up six centers on here and just make them so fast. We got a center. Wow, look how close I was. That's okay. It's still perfect. That's the easiest one, right? Yep, that's, your center. that's my center, number one. I have one more die. My favorite one. Four inches, number 13. This is from the angle set. The angle set. Okay, I love it. Okay, first of all, I have a whole strip. And it is, you just measure your strip and make sure it's a quarter of an inch at the top, a quarter of an inch at the top bottom. Just cut the strip and what I do first is fold it and watch out for the salvage edge right there. Okay, I'm going to just match up the corner right here. How many of these do you need per block? Eight. Four. 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 Four, see? Yeah. Who said eight? Oh, Brenda, you're out of here. <laughs> Go back to kindergarten. <laughs> you have to go to kindergarten. Okay, so I'm just going to push this through one time. Four layers, okay? That's cool. Okay. Okay, and Teresa? What I want you to do is turn these right side up and turn those, the sides right side up. Okay, while well, I do this. Okay, that's cool, right? Pick it up, turn it around. Ooh, line it all up again. Ah. You want me to sew one? I'm nearly done cutting, okay? So, cut it again. You like this? Okay. This is whenever, okay, look at this. Take this. Got a whole other stack of four of them. And let's see how lucky we are. Oh my goodness, look at this. Four more. And look how much I wasted. Is that good? I love to stand and do this too. I'm going to tell you I love to do everything. It's true. It's just really fun. All right. So each one of those stacks is enough for a star. I, I do throw these little things away. <laughs> and you only get two here. Okay, there we go. All right. One, two, three, four. Go. Okay, this is almost the end of the big show. But this is what we're going to do next. She's going to move that. But we take this and flip it right sides together to the left side. And I will just separate it out. Do you see? Oh, look, it's a white on white. Can you see this blunt point? That has to be lined up. And you have to get your needle right starting here to keep this, to keep this. Right, start right there and look at the end, the opposite side. Do you see the blunt points? When you come off of them, you also have to get that all lined up and you just sew straight off with your quarter of an inch seam. 
quarter of an inch seam. Okay, there she goes. And she's got red thread. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're going to go. Yes. Patty's whispering she's going to start laying out her blocks. When you cut these, you have to cut them in pairs, right sides together or wrong sides together. You have to cut pairs. You can't just cut a single piece. Won't work. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so now here we are right here. Eric, should it be on the purple or is the white table okay? Okay, all right, so here we are. And when you push this, when you set that seam and you open it, okay, and then I'm just gonna pretend I, oh, look at Teresa's. Whoa, look at that top. Are you impressed? That's what you want right there. And right down here, it's interesting that blunt, you have just like a, a 32nd of an inch hanging over the edge right there. It does not go clear to the point. See, can you see just this little chunk of fabric? Mm -hmm. Ever so little. Okay, and now Teresa? Yeah. Um, okay. Press towards the dark? Yes, toward the dark. Okay. There we go. I did um, an assembly line step in sewing this block together with the half square triangles. And with this one, if you look on the back, this is, remember I told you it's also everything locks together. So this time on the, the uh, half square triangle, you are supposed to press your seams toward the point. All the seams are going toward the point. So see how they're opposite right here? And that means that they're going to lock together. Yes, so when you just flip them up, yes, just flip them up and just sew them and they will lock together. Okay, the ones with the um, half square triangles and Teresa's going to show you this is what she did look at ta da want to see what that looks like yeah let's look we'll see if we're going to keep Teresa <laughs> yes look at that see yep and you guys know, if you're new to this, no squaring up. Okay, no squaring up, that's good. Okay, so, so that one is done. Okay, and now I wanna show you a green one. And this one has all of the, uh, the four patch, all the four patch. Oops, look at that. I um. I ran out of scraps and look what I did. I shouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> it's okay? Okay, so how did I press this, this first one? In. In, towards the stars, right? Mm -hmm. Turn it over. Now, how do I press? Out, out, out. And so when you flip them together again, they lock, but they are also going to lock together to the one beside it. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's really, really cool. Look at this. I, I thought maybe I need to replace that center. Huh? Is that good too? Aren't they cool? All right, so look at Patty. Da, 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 da. Okay, now if you decide you want to follow the directions, <laughs> if you want to see more circles, this is actually a table runner that I laid out. And you alternate your blocks, um, this one, the stars, with the half square triangles, 
and then we do a star with four patch, and then again, have just alternate, and then the outside edge, these are units of three pieces, and again, they're gonna alternate, and this one, because the block has the half square triangles, this unit has the four patch. So that gives you that circle effect. Do you see when you put them together? It looks like a curve, but these are all straight lines. Yep. And then again, you see we alternate, and this time we, you know, we uh, combine the four patch with the half square triangle. And then the final act, we put a half square triangle in the corner. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? Thank you. It is pretty. It's such a pretty pattern. Those are my colors, if you, if you noticed. Yeah. Did you try to have those flowers? I think I did just one. Probably. Oh, yeah, I did all of them. I forgot. You know you did. I can't resist. And she paints one. So that's, that's very it. Good. Yeah. And that's the end of the roundabout. Yay. Guess where you can get this pattern? <laughs> Roundabout stars. Okay. Okay. I love this pattern. Okay, now Patty has been working on her pattern. And now you get the show, Pat. Oh, some more quilts. Okay. More quilts. And we'll okay. take this off because this is done. Here, you can come over okay. here. And and so, do you mind Patty, this is what you do. You you show everything you on the table, but you yeah. look okay. at the audience. Okay. <laughs> Just to let you know, so, right. if you have that AccuQuilt die, and you say, I want to see what else I can make with this die, this is it's a, kind of an old quilt, but it uses this, the same die, but it's a reverse. We reverse the colors in that point. Does anybody remember this quilt? Do you know what it's called? Oh, yeah. It's Sue, Sue Bouchard designed it. It's called Moon Dance. And I think this was the first kind of so-called modern quilt that we ever added to our pattern. Yeah. The four patch in the middle. Let's see if you remember Whoa, this show one. the back first. Oh. That looks cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. The back, the front. Oh, what did I <laughs> Okay. Okay. Isn't that pretty? That is lovely. And now the front side. Ta-da! 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 This is Storm at Sea. Yeah. That is an AccuQuilt die. Yeah. I, oh, I know Storm it is. Yeah. At Storm, Storm at Sea. Storm yeah. at Sea. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's only one die, right? Yes. I think so. Yeah, okay. one die. And then? We do have dies. That's Fish cute. block. Yeah. Yeah, we did a book called Through the Seasons, and this quilt, the fish quilt, is in that book. You might have that one. Okay. Keith, don't ask me the names now, of my books. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I don't know if Eleanor minds if I show you one more thing. <laughs> They're happy. Are you Eleanor, happy? Eleanor does everything. Show it, show it. She does everything really fast. I'm the slow poke in the family. And in case you don't have, and you might not have your AccuQuilt. You might just deciding whether you want to get it. This is one of my favorite quilt in a day rulers, triangle in a square. And you can use this to make two sizes, either three or four inch finish patches. And it works great. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this, but I'm going to do it. Just do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Don't ask permission. In case, yeah. And in case you have one or don't have one, you can get one here. 
And I don't know if this will show up very well, but it's a strip, a five inch strip. And we start with the triangle and just cut one, flip and it, it, and then you cut the next one. And then the next one, I'm not quite as dramatic as Elle <laughs> with her fabric. But um, once you have your triangles, then for the, the, the points, we start with rectangles. And again, these are cut two at a time, wrong side together, mirror image, just cut on the diagonal. And then we'll separate these. There's one for each side. And there we have our next step. We'll just do the little so. So the first side. Run your fingers. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, got to line it up just perfectly. If you can see that tiny little tip hanging out at the top, that's exactly what you want to see. There's a little perfect triangle. And now, do, 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 do. <laughs> I take my sewing machine. She takes her fingers. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, the other side, this time, you match the two tips. And if you, if you do it just the way the directions show you, do what it tells you. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then, now we're going to use this square and line up the triangle on the ruler uh -huh. and trim around. And look at that. It's just perfect. <laughs> okay. Did Teresa do it? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> no, no, when we when we sew together, we have a really good time. Patty cuts, she fussy cuts, and I sew. And I have to sew as fast as I can to keep up with her cutting. <laughs> no, I have to cut. keep up with your sewing. Yeah. So just since you mentioned it, Eleanor and I, we had a really fun evening a couple, couple weeks ago. Um, it was a Thursday. I was leaving Quilt in a Day, and Elle was staying in town. And I said, hey, do you want to sew a quilt tonight? So we started. You want to come around here? Yeah, we started, I don't know, what, about 5 or 6 o'clock. Yeah. And we sewed until 11 o'clock. Yep. And... Are you ready? We may... <coughs> but I confess, we didn't make the whole quilt. We only did... We actually made nine blocks. Nine blocks. <laughs> and that was pretty good. But then I realized, I said, I think this would be a really pretty larger size yeah. on a bed because yeah. the blocks are so big. So I made seven more blocks. And then, um, but, oh, but if you like but, it. But oh. see, oh, um, I just want to tell you that this is the lightest one that I use, mm -hmm. but there is one even lighter in the collection mm -hmm. of fabric. Mm -hmm. And that's the points. And what size cube is that a 10 inch? It's not a cube. This, no, I'll show you the, the slow way. <laughs> Remember, I'm not Eleanor. <laughs> but one thing that I want you all to know, the best thing about this fabric, it's so forgiving. Those colors are so light. If your seams don't match perfectly, you don't notice it. You can't Nobody see it. Nobody will notice it. You can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I will show you the block. It is beautiful. Oh, it is, it is beautiful. It. It's just okay. so soft. It would be perfect in a bedroom. You'd go in and yeah. calm down, relax. If you go to the Benertex website, you can print out um, a pattern for this quilt. But we didn't do it the way they did it. So we did it with our flying geese ruler. And Teresa wrote out the directions. 
The yardage. Yeah, she wrote out the yardage. The directions are really easy. And I'll show you all you need. Um, you need a flying geese ruler. This is the large flying geese ruler. Makes a four by eight inch finished geese. And this is um, starting out. And this is all in the, in the yardage chart. These are five by 10 inch. And the colors are all done in the light. If you notice those corners, Teresa, you can be Vanna and point, oh, what, what am point I to the corners. The corners. Oh, yeah, the corners. you there see you the are. flying geese? Yeah. yeah, those are four, four geese made all at the same time. We have two squares. This one, nine and a half by um, nine and a half inch square, 11 inch square. Have you all done this flying geese ruler? Uh -huh. You center, yeah, center the smaller square, diagonal line, do, 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 do. cut it on the line, and then press to the larger triangle and match opposite fabrics. Whoops, rather do it the right way. Okay, light to dark. Line up the edges, do not match the seam inside. Yeah, and then you draw another diagonal. And so on both sides, cut it on the line. And let's see what we get on this half. Can you see two geese? Ah, magic. I know, and the other half, oh, two more geese. The directions are included. Yes. With all of the rulers. And for that uh, ruler, we'll just, again, line up the ruler with the seam line and trim around, they come out perfect. So that's, that's how you do it. Ta-da! All right, all, okay. all done. Thank I'm you. I'm done. Thank you. Tell him about the place binding. Yeah. Do you like that magic binding? Yes. Oh, yes. Um, Eric. Yeah. For magic binding, right along. The here. best part about it is completely done on the machine, no hand sewing, and we have two strips. The color that makes the the darker color that makes the flange. This is actually cut wider, even though you just see the tiniest little bit. Yes. Cut that strip at one and three quarter, and the binding is a one and a half inch strip. And if you piece those two strips, you, lang you sew all your lengths together, uh, and then you piece those two, press it in half, and you see that lovely little flange and when you apply it to your quilt, you sew it to the, to the wrong side, like that. And then wrap around to the front, and then you stitch right in the ditch, right on the flange. It's the best binding, I love it. And did you know that AccuQuilt has a one and three fourth inch die for the flange wow. and a one and a half for the binding. I had to get my AccuQuilt in there. <laughs> and I use them a lot. Okay, is that it? Yeah. That's it. Great. Okay, thank you, Patty. Thank you. Okay, this is Teresa's quilt. <laughs> oh, look how pretty. Yes, the flange binding, very, very beautiful, with this little patch repeated over and over again. The four patch, right? And this is actually the quarter square, and the die, the quarter square, I have this system all figured out, how you can cut these four pieces and assembly line so, so fast.
the, I know the reason why Teresa did this, the one, one yard, the three yards. Mm -hmm. There is going to be a, a like a, twil, a quilt, quilt show, mm -hmm. quilt run. run, quilt run, quilt run, where the shops are all making these patterns that can all be done with like one yard pieces, three one yard pieces. Yeah, so don't miss that. Ooh, <laughs> what's the line you use, Teresa? I really like it. Okay. So, anyway. Another flange. It's very, very pretty just using one fabric. But you could get it by the yard. You don't have to, you can't get this out of back quarters. That is very pretty, isn't it? I think the line is so different for me. I like, I was in shock, you know. I go, but look at the back, too. Did we do good? All right. Thank you. Thank you. So lots of fun.